you play the character that sends Cole back in time. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what's at stake in the next season? Um, well, I myself do not know exactly <laughs> what's going to happen at this point, but there's going to be more time travel. It will still be the plague, but time travel will be even a bigger part of the season and the season is going to go more into the characters and into the relations. I mean in the first season there was a lot about establishing this world and and getting you know to uh, know time travel and understand it and this is now really about um, what are the characters, what makes them tick, what do they fear and uh, you know, their involvement. And they, like Jones, for example, she's getting to know parts of herself that she doesn't even know. And time travel is going to get more crazy. More crazy. Yeah, and this, uh, it's very imaginative. I mean, I only read the first three episodes and it's, it's fascinating. That's what I like about um, sci-fi. I'm very new to sci-fi, that it is so limitless, yeah. right? That you can really play with your brain. Yeah. Absolutely. Anything is possible. So you, if you're new to the genre, were you aware of the, um, the relevance and popularity of the original film before you took on the, the role? No, I knew La Jeté, right. but uh, I uh, watched the film after I had got the role offered here. All right. And, and um, uh, if, you're not, if you're new to the genre, uh, were you aware of how popular time travel is in things like Back to the Future and Doctor Who and things like this? Are you on well, you know what, I have three sons, so they were a lot into these things, but I didn't know the scale of an audience that is into that. And actually, it's, I, I only know this since yesterday, since I walked uh, two hours on the floor of Comic-Con and saw what this actually is. I mean, it's amazing. It's huge, yeah. Is it, was this your first trip to San Diego Comic-Con? Yeah, to Comic Con, yeah. I shot a, I shot a, a mini series here many, many years ago, so I knew a little bit San Diego, but I didn't know about Comic Con. I never had heard about it. Oh, yeah. uh, absolutely. But and and um, the, the yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, we do. We do in London, uh, smaller ones. Yeah, but nothing on the scale of this. This is the size of a, of a city, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, uh, uh, are you um, when you were you saw you read the first three episodes? Was there a moment that you saw and you thought to yourself, "I can't wait to to be filming that." Not only one, I'm telling you, not only one. I mean, I actually read the fourth episode last night, and I, I, I can't wait to do it. I mean, it's uh, not only one moment, really great moments and surprising moments and difficult. I really what, what, challenging to create or challenging both? to create conceptually? A little, yeah, conceptually also, but uh, also to create, but... Uh, it's you know it's it's something where you as an audience I think you can go with it because I think as soon as you have a, a character opens up there's a, there's a way in really for the audience you know it's not just cere cerebral it's very emotional also so I'm oh, well good luck with the next season and thank you very much for speaking to us today thank you.